All right, man. Hey, Andy, I'm super excited to have you. You guys, I'm with Andy Audate, and he is with Progretta is the name of his software. We're going to talk about them. But before we do that, I want to give you guys a quick hook into what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, Andy, you first came on my radar with this post. It said, just added 35,952 uh, with a one-year agreement in annual recurring revenue in 24 hours by adding Apex. So there's going to be a lot of people that want to know, A, how you did that. B, uh, you're selling uh, annual contracts. That's legit, right? So there's a lot to unpack there. But uh, anyway, so thanks for coming on. I'm sure we'll unpack all that good stuff. But first of all, thanks for coming on, man. Sam, thank you so much for having me, man. You're, you're, you're a legend in the in the community, man, and in giving people access to tools that will allow them to grow and scale, man, is by far oh, the way you can add value, man. Put some money in my pocket, man. You're my best friend for life. <laughs> that's what we do, right? I If I can do that for you, awesome. But that's what you're doing for your customers, too. So that's how we win, right? Amen to that. Yes, sir. Well, cool. So uh, before we jump into the nuts and bolts, tell us about your agency, how long you've been in the business, fill us in on some, give us some color to the situation here. So I've been in the business since 2017 and I left a, uh, a industry. I used to franchise T-Mobile stores. I was, I was, I think I was the youngest T-Mobile franchise because I was, I had just graduated high school and at 19 years old, I signed a deal with T-Mobile. Opened up four locations with them, made my first million. And then I took that money and I moved to the West Coast. And what, what I saw was the people, the Russell Brunsons and the Les Browns and the Grant Cardones of the world on the social media path about entrepreneurship. And I said, I could do that. So I started that, our agency in 2017. You made your first million at what age? I was 21. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. And you know what's interesting is people talk like that, but then they'll go out and like they'll start a YouTube channel and they'll go, oh, I'm going to do it. You're just building businesses. You love the game. I love the game. Um, actually, in my staff, I mean, my vision for my SaaS is that I already shared that with my staff that we're going to, I'm going to be exiting the SaaS and the agency in, uh, in June of 2026. Mm -hmm. So I'm already setting up the team members to run the business, manage the business. Cause that was my first mistake in my first business is I didn't know you can build a business and make money from it residual. Like I thought you had to run it. Like I literally thought McDonald's, the owner of McDonald's was the same guy who started it. And it was just one guy. That was my understanding of business at 19. But today uh, I'm putting people in position and I'm going to walk away from the business uh, just so I can focus on the brand and bringing more customers through my brand rather than do the day-to-day -day work. Well, that's awesome. So, I mean, clearly you're a hustler. You're speaking at the Level Up event here in October and uh, I'm sure you're going to be sharing some of the gold that you'll be sharing in October. I'm sure you're going to drop a little bit here, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to be speaking about the the SaaS model and, you know, really playing that playing the game in, in, the, in the SaaS game. So talk to us about your agency right now in terms of structure, niche, offering, that kind of thing, whatever you're able to share, just so we can get some idea of, of what it is that you're building, what it is that you're selling. When I left the cell phone industry, I got with uh, Les Brown. He was a mentor of mine. I traveled the country with Les Brown and uh, the services that I was doing at the time was like, I was building the landing pages, the funnels to help sell tickets to his event. And then I got yeah. recruited to be an FSR which what that is, it means I would go three weeks, three to four weeks ahead of him in a, in a city and fill up the seminar room for him, Les Brown, the motivational speaker to come in and speak. So I, they'll ship me out to Dallas. I got a bunch of appointments lined up for me to go speak at realtors, car dealerships, and so on and so forth. And my job is to sell tickets in large groups to go ahead and see Les Brown speak. And they all attend this event at one time. Um, so I, I got really keen on the expert model and the speakers, yeah. uh, the speaking world. Uh, after I left that business, I created an online course where I help people start their speaking journey and, and selling from stages. This was before Go High Level or anything of that nature. I was just educating people on how to speak. So I started creating funnels and landing pages for my courses um, and helping other people with their courses. Then, um, then I transitioned, man, and I got an opportunity to start really focusing on helping speakers and brands build their funnels and sequences to help them sell more of their products. And uh, that's really where the agency took off. That was uh, 2018, 2017, 2018, 2019. And then I got into uh, SaaS, man, with, with Sean. And I still do that today with uh, helping coaches and consultants. But because the technology is so robust that we're able to help other uh, personal brands like lawyers, tax consultants who want to speak in front of large groups to acquire customers. And then our software does all the back end work to, to fill up their pipeline. So the so your software fills, does it, you, you're not creating webinars for them. 
Uh, we have some we have some clients that we do webinars for for them, and um, we have people like uh, the co-author Rich Dad Poor Dad Sharon Lecter use, uh, utilizing our tools to do the webinars and different tax strategists and uh, consultants who we use our webinar model for them. Um, but the the big gist is sell your products, sell more of your products, and the people who don't buy on those webinars that they uh, we follow up with them to send them text messages, emails to schedule the appointment, the sales appointment after they watch the presentation. That's how I use webinars. You know, I, I think a lot of people look at a webinar, especially in the agency space, they look at a webinar and they're like, oh, I didn't sell enough of my thing on the webinar. So like, yeah, you want, you want to know you did though? You took everybody who was on the fringe of that green, that putting green, you took all the people on the fringe and you putted it within two feet of the hole, right? Yeah. Now it's just a gimme. You call them up. You're like, hey, how'd you like the webinar? What questions did you have? And there yeah. are a rollover. There are so many qualified people when you do it that way. I, I think- People, you, you know, um, webinars, okay, speaking on stage, that's where you start. Let's talk about you. Speaking on stage, first of all, I've never heard about doing like speaking to micro groups to create big macro groups, but that is pretty, so that was your entire job. That's a, that's an old model, man. That's like that's like when when Tony Robbins was growing his business in the beginning, man, that's in the 80s and the 90s. That's the model that they, that they followed. So there's content online of like Tony Robbins training a team. It's his sales team. Really? And those are called field sales representatives. They go out into the city and they have appointment setters that will get a little commission for setting up the appointment. But the real person is the closer, which is the field sales representative. So you have a, you have a group of appointment setters that's setting up and saying, hey, Tony Robbins is coming to the city. Um, and then one of his guys is going to come out to do a presentation to pump up your team and help you guys increase sales and help you guys do this and that and so on and so forth. There's like a whole pitch. Um, pitch. And then the field sales representative goes out into the field, meets that car, car lot manager, real estate manager, whatever, and then says, hey, I'm going to be doing a presentation for your people on the five keys to peak performance. But in order for them to get the real access that they need, there's going to be an event coming up in a couple of weeks yeah. with Tony and so on and so forth. And if they love it, can they purchase a ticket to come and buy? And the manager is going to be like, sure. And, you know, then the, the, the representative will go in and speak and say, hey, there's 100 people here in front of me or the 80 or 20 or 30 people here in front of me. They'll do a five keys to top, you know, the, the five keys to peak performance. And then at the end, they'll say, hey, Tony Robbins coming in. Would you like to buy a ticket? If you buy a ticket, I'll give you this extra bonus today and this extra bonus today and so on and so forth. That's been happen happening since the 80s, 90s, man, uh, way before the digital marketing space got in. I tell you what. Uh, well, first of all, that's awesome. And it's awesome that you like fell into that or got into that, however you happened upon it, into that opportunity. Because talk about skills that translate through the rest of your life and through business. There's no, There's not a single skill in terms of growing a business that will benefit you more than marketing and advertising and sales course, in this sure. case, right? This is like, it's number one by far. So fast forward to your agency. All right. And we're going to, we're going to get to, if you're watching this, we're going to get to the $36,000 in one day thing. You know, we'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, but fast forward to your agency. You're, you still used this approach to launch and grow your agency. Talk me through that, how you acquire customers and how you do that whole thing. I, I already knew the value of, the speaking in front of large groups. I think yeah. once you start doing that, it's hard to not do that anymore. So let's, let me take me back to the selling tickets. I, I have done the one-on-one -on -one call to sell a product, but what I noticed is that when I sold to a group, when I sold to a group, it was easier to sell one-on-one. -on -one. Here's yes. what I mean by that. There's a four-step sales process, everyone. Whether you're selling your SaaS, you're selling your car, whatever, there's a four-step sales process, especially with SaaS. You greet your customer on the, on the sales call, you qualify them, then you do your presentation, and then you close. So your first 45 minutes could be the greet, qualify, and presentation. The first 45 minutes. And then the last 15 to 20 minutes is actually you're in the close. When I do the presentation in front of a large group, I'm greeting them already. I'm telling them who I am. I'm building rapport to a large group. The way that I'm qualifying them is I'm sharing a problem that they know that they have. So they resonate with that problem in, in this large presentation. And then we present. I'm presenting my SaaS. I'm doing a quick demonstration of what my tool does and how it helps people. So greet, qualify, present. Those three steps are already taken care of on a webinar. And I just did that to 100 people or 150 people or 200 people. So when on the webinar, I close, the people who identify themselves, oh, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to buy, those people go ahead and buy and they're already on my onboarding team and they're already moving forward. The people who are still stuck on a specific thing that I might have not touched, yeah. they can schedule a call 
Yeah. And then when they schedule the call, all I got to do is the close, which is a 10 minute presentation or a 10 minute answer, you know, question and answer. And then the deal's done. Your easiest sales is after the webinar. That is business growth, marketing, sales team gold. Like, cause that's exactly what we do. Like literally. So I, I have a webinar where I teach how I got 53 paid customers in one webinar. And I did, I got 53 cu uh, customers between the actual uh, offer and then the replay 53 customers in one webinar. And it was awesome. And I did that same one over and over again. And I ended up getting 127 agency customers in like two months, but I didn't call anybody. I, I it was just like, those are the people that converted. So fast forward to now people know what it is, right? A uh, tactic known as a tactic blown. As soon as somebody has an idea, what is a, a assumption is the enemy of conversion. The more they feel like they know about what it is that you offer, the more they'll poke holes in it. So fast forward a couple months, we were doing a webinar, the conversion drops. I'm like, oh, what's going on? Well, just call them. Boom, sales. Bam, 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 sales, sales, mm -hmm. sales, sales. It's like, oh, okay, well, that's easy. Let's just do webinar to a demo. And then the demos are easy. It's just like, there's, they're already through the, Hey, I'm being like, you know, people have this uh, apprehension of being sold. They're already, yeah. past that, right. They are, they're already there to talk to you about something uh, like the trust is built. All that goodwill has already been exchanged. So they're already there that like, to your point, they have a specific question and then they want to visualize, okay, how would this work for me? It's like, well, let's talk about you for a minute. Boom. And then decision. It's just a decision. It's like, what do you want to do? You tell me. And for me, whenever I close, I'm like, hey, Andy, this has been awesome. Usually by the point where people get to this point, you know, at, of our conversation, they're either, hey, this is not a fit for me. Or yeah, I want to see what this looks like for me. And in my case, my practice, like, what does it cost? How much? Whatever. And even though we've talked about that on the webinar, it's like, which one are you? Oh, talk to me about that. Boom. That's a close. Like that's a soft close that leads to a 95% close almost all the time. It is the, it is the easy button in terms of sales, but you got to have the skill set, right? Yeah. Um, so you talk about the four steps. Talk, walk me through the four steps again, the greeting, the qualifying, the pitch, and then the close. Presentation and then the close. Yep. Of those four things, the one that I would be most curious about would be the close. And here's why. The other three things are actually really easy. They're, they're like greetings and being friendly, um, qualifying, and then content. These are all stories. The yeah. close is where you start. Like if you imagine a leaky bucket with holes in it, it's where you start plugging all of those holes for the customer in their mind. But for them to make a buying decision, I wonder for you, what are the core, the most important things that you do during the close process to get them to actually buy? Let's assume that the actual call afterwards, that's also easy too, I think. Um, if you've done this, talk to me, walk me through your clothes a little bit, how you do it. There's two, there's two elements. We got to, we got to close with logic and emotion. So let me yes. put the logic to the side for a moment. Let's focus on the emotion. So we get, we create clarity on what happens on the other side with having this product or this solution. So for example, if, if, if money is the, if I'm closing on the money, the, the potential upside financially, like if you're going to do SaaS or you're going to buy my product, buy my software, and you're going to make more money because of it, what is that going to do for you? And then we identify those things. And what's come from most people that which is on a webinar is the ability to spend more time with family. With our mm -hmm. software, we get to automate a lot of those uh, follow-up tasks. So you, instead of you sending a text message to your, to your, 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 your customer, let our software do it and spend some more time with your children. And I'll share a story about how my dad was always working and, and was in my life in which distance the relationship with my father. So don't be that person. Don't be that, but you know, you need to, who here has that understanding that you need to work, you need to make money and your children at, at this stage may not care. However, you realize it's important to spend time with them. How do you kill two birds with, uh, with, with, two, with one stone? The way you do that is you have your follow-up tasks being automated while you're spending time with your kids. So that way you can still get both done. Who here would like to spend more time with your children? Everyone raised their hand. Okay. Or, or your wife or your husband. I'll talk about, I, I just got married 10 months ago. So I'll talk about my wife that I just got uh, uh, married to uh, 10 months ago. So I, I, I relate through that on the webinars. Then I'm like, how would you justify, which brings me now to the logic. Check this out. So how do you justify spending 749 bucks a month to use a tool that generates you leads automatically, that sets up appointments with those leads automatically, and book them on your calendar automatically and have them show up on your calendar, whether it's 10 appointments, 20 appointments, 30 appointments, how would you justify 
spending 750 bucks to get new customers on your calendar automatically every single month. And then they start thinking, and then we'll transition into our return on investment calculator, which is you get four deals of your thousand dollar product. You spend the 750 is a no brainer. So we hit the emotional, but the logical side is we showed them the return on investment. So when we hit those two things, emotional, spending time with the kids, Hey, I, I'm getting more sales appointments. I'm getting more appointments on my calendar. I'll make more money on the back end. That $750 is nothing compared to our big, to our big, uh, yeah, they're, 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 sell. they're, they're yeah. return on, they're, they're sell. Yeah. They're return on investment. So once we hit those two, then boom, man, we got a customer. And then it's just a decision. So if you think of it again, in terms of buckets, once you fill up the logic bucket and the emotion bucket, then it's like, okay, we filled up the buckets. Now, based on where you're at right now today, what would you like to do? Is that, is, I mean, I personally, I'm a soft closer. I'm like, what would you like to do? And I literally say, how would you like to proceed? Those are my words. And people are like, yeah, let's do it. Um, meaning there's no like crazy, like close with, yeah. you know what I mean? Is that your experience too? I'm the same way, man. It's not first and foremost for retention. If I do the hard close in the beginning, many times yeah. on a retention basis, uh, after two months, it ends up not sticking three months, it ends up not sticking. Right. And now you're in this hash out with a contract now. So, uh, I'm, I'm a, definitely a soft close guy. We're just going to continue to give value. I just looked into my, into my, uh, Stripe account. One of my uh, top spending clients, he came, I looked at his history in our CRM. He came to our webinar four different times in, over the course of four months. And he did not buy. We did not do a hard close on him. We followed up, but we did not do a hard close on him. But when he made that decision, he stuck through with that decision. And he's still sticking through that decision, uh, paying us monthly. And he's been on, he's been on our SaaS since 2021. Uh, there, there's so much here that I, I agree with, but in the interest of time, I know we got to, you know, this is a YouTube video. So I know we got to kind of <laughs> move along. I'm sure that people are coming to hear you speak in October are going to be excited to have you. And maybe I love webinars. In fact, on Friday, I'm doing a thing all about, I'm giving away my web. I'm just giving away all the slides. I'm going to walk people through it. It's going to be awesome. Um, but let's, let's fast forward to, uh, what date was this? It just says one hour ago. Cause I took a screenshot. So whatever yeah. date it was a couple of weeks ago, uh, the added 36,000. So walk me through your, your moment where you're like, okay, I need to use this UPEX thing. Here we go. And then here's the proof. So I did a, I did a demo with someone on your team right? I thought it was you, but I don't think it was you. I did a demo with someone on your team. And I remember the, the concept, this was like a year ago, actually, to the date, exactly 12 months ago, I did a demo. And I was just like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm not gonna take action on it. Okay. Then I see you guys in the Facebook community. I see you. I see you Sam pop up on my YouTube feed on a regular basis. Right. And I don't even think I subscribed to your thing. Right. I didn't, I wasn't, bro. No, I, I, at the time, uh, but there was a, there was a moment where I started hearing some of our customers churn reasons and I'm like, what's the churn reason? Lack of leads, the lack of leads. So that's what inspired me to, uh, to really double down on our agency service where we started doing a uh, higher end. It cost $3,000 a month for you to, for us to start generating new leads. And so we started generating leads for clients and we did, we bolted on this $3,000 a month service for our customers, which was, is working phenomenal, but there's a group of customers that can't afford 3000 bucks a month. So we said, what is the way that they can do it themselves? And I'm over here talking talking to one of our developers. I'm like, what is the way that we can do it themselves? And there he's like, let's try UpHex. And I said, you know what? I did a demo with them. Let's, let's try UpHex. So we did a trial. And I think for the first 13 days of this trial, we didn't do anything with it. Get a notification. You're about to charge my card. And I said, you know what? Let me just try it. Let's do a pitch. Let's do a pitch. And I went to one of my sales and marketing managers. I said, Hey, we added this new feature. Mind you, we, at the time, we didn't even do any of the templates. We, it was just the beginning. We said, hey, we added this new feature uh, and you got to upgrade to our highest tier plan, which is 790, 749 bucks and call a couple of customers who's gone to our webinar that did not buy and ask them if they want to buy it now because we have the feature to generate you leads. We called four customers and we got 100%, 100% conversion because now I positioned it as we're the CRM that gets you leads. Yeah. Not just after the lead is generated, we're the CRM that will get you leads now. And it's, so we got the ads launcher, we got the sites, we have the whole entire system. And they were like, okay, man, I'm getting my own leads. So sign me up, man. And then uh, what's interesting about us, we signed customers up on a one-year agreement. So we signed them up on a one-year agreement. So they agreed to spend 749 bucks per month for the next 12 months. And we got four customers in 24 hours. Amazing. 36,000 bucks, 24 hours. That's crazy. And so that, th that just, that became your, is that your third tier or your second tier? Third tier. That became your third tier. Boom. That's what you guys do today. Yeah. And I'm questioning, I'm questioning, uh, we're talking about a fourth tier to give us additional value and give more support, but that's our third tier. Love it, man.
better late than never, even though it was a year after you tried it the first time, better late than never. And uh, now, you know, you got this legit product. I mean, if I had started a year ago, you know, 2020 is hindsight, hindsight 2020. If I started a year ago, you know, I, I had a conversation with my team, like, where would we have been at if we started a year ago? Yeah. So if, if you're on the fence, if you're listening to this and you're at, at a stage where you're on the fence about up hex, man, take action. Uh, they give you the trial, which is cool. Um, but the, 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 the little, I don't, I don't know how much it is. I think, I think it's a um, couple hundred bucks, right? The, the highest level. Yeah. Yeah. So it's 97. If you only have three sub accounts, it's 297. If you have up to 10, but then after that, it's unlimited at 497. Commit, commit on the un unlimited, man. If you're watching this and you're like, I'm thinking about this, like commit on the, on the, on the unlimited. I think for me, when I committed to it, I went all in and I, and we call, I, I put it on my team. I said, Hey, let's get all in. Um, we done over at this point, we've been on with you guys for maybe three or four weeks. We're at nearly 175,000 ARR because of, of this tool. So that's why when I say like the, the 497, just commit to it, man. And, and, and just go bigger. We actually on our site, we took away all the other plans. We only sell the plan with that brings you leads. Really? Yeah. That's like th 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 there was no point of, because what happens is for the customers, unless they have like a database and they're reactivating and, and they're going through that, but who here doesn't want more leads? So let me give you the yeah. tool, the level that is going to be the most valuable. Like we can downsell if necessary, but let me give you the tool that's going to be the most valuable. And that includes generating you leads on the front end. Yeah. And it just gives you a clear single offer. If you give people too many offers on the front end, a lot of times that will distract them from making a buying decision. So, well, dude, there's so much to unpack here. I'm definitely going to have to have you back. Hopefully you'll be back. Would you be back? Well, you'll be back. <laughs> and uh so thanks for being so uh, open kimono as they say with uh all your all your business and um yeah man appreciate you thank you for being in the group you know sharing all your experiences and everything and let us know if there's anything we can do for you what, what final parting words anything from you to to uh, end the uh, episode here look you gotta you gotta take this SaaS thing serious if, if you if you dibble and dabbled into it if you're someone who's a dibble and dabbler take an opportunity to make a decision now. And this SAS thing about willing, like I just got back to Las Vegas. Um, I was in Boston with my family. That's where originally where I'm from. I live in Las Vegas today. So I'm across the country and I'm looking at my Stripe account. There's money coming in. Boom, 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 boom. Every single month, right? Or every single day. There's money coming, whether it's rebuilding, so on and so forth. And then once we added up hex, we're able to justify the price increase because now the system gives you leads. So if you're questioning like, hey, do I do this GHL thing? And then do I do this up hex thing? The answer is yes. Go all in. Don't dibble and dabble. Um, that's why we actually created a we, we created a, a program where we train agency owners on how to even implement UpHex in their business and sell SaaS in their business. So if you're interested, go to andyaudate.com slash agency. Once again, that's andyaudate.com slash agency. And when you go to that webpage, you're going to see a video of me and Sean, Sean Clark, where we recorded a video about how to build a $10 million SaaS. I'm actually doing that entire blueprint that it's free. You can go watch the video. I'm doing that entire blueprint on us building a $10 million SaaS. Now in my plan, this is the first time I'm, I'm going to say it here. Now my plan, Sam, is if I do the math, 1200 customers times 750 bucks a month, I'll hit my $10 million ARR business. And because I added up hex, I'm able to justify the 749 man. So, so uh, Look, man, I'm gonna. I want my my goal is to increase your server costs, man. So to the point where you're like, man, Andy is a fucking beast in this bitch, man. I'll take it. That's a good problem to have, Andy. You're a beast, and it was. Uh, say the website one more time. AndyAudate.com forward slash agency. It's a video of me and Sean where we talk about building ten million dollars. Love it, dude. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Andy. Sam, thank you so much for having me, my friend.